I will sit on the end of the couch during the day and hardly ever move. Even simple chores sometimes feel monumental to 58-year-old Barbara Powell. She suffers from clinical depression. The serious medical illness has changed the way Barbara eats and sleeps. And like most patients, it has also touched her family. I become very irritable, especially towards uh, my husband. Um, I don't, sometimes I just don't think he can do anything right. Barbara sought help, but prescription antidepressants did not give her relief from the darkness of depression. If you look at depression, it's, the medications are pretty effective. 65, 70 percent of people can get well with the medications, but that leaves 20, 30 percent of people who don't get all the way well. Ready to start? Ready. Now Mrs. Powell is participating in a study of a non-drug therapy at Emory University. It's called Repetitive Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, or TMS. Dr. William McDonald is trying to determine if TMS, which is widely used in Europe, can help those who are not helped by antidepressants. It works by taking electrical energy and converting that electrical energy into magnetic pulses. Magnetic pulses can pass through the hair, through the scalp, and into the brain. When they hit the brain, they then fire neurons in the brain. Depression seems to be a disease in which the neurons don't fire and don't work well. This helps those neurons fire and fire normally as they would in a non-depressed person. Participants in the study will receive TMS therapy approximately 35 minutes a day for six weeks, followed by three weeks of tapered TMS. Because it's a placebo-controlled study, participants don't know if they're receiving TMS or a placebo. Transcranial magnetic stimulation offers the hope that we have not only a new effective treatment for depression, but also one which has limited side effects. I know that being depressed, it's a uh, chemical imbalance, and so I put a lot of faith in those pills. When they don't help you, you have to find something. For Emory, this is Rhonda Rowland.